Marketing 3340, Professor Dillard, George Cardenas, Customer Relationship Management in the Future, How Technology, Social Media, and User-Generated Content Will Impact Customer Relationship Management Systems Going Forward. Now when we say CRM, what exactly do we mean by CRM? CRM stands for Customer Relationship Management. Basically, it's a form of technology that organizations or companies use um, to really bring in better interaction, better communication, and tracking for its current customers as well as its potential future customers. It's a really great way to start tracking everything. Furthermore, a CRM system uh, makes business easier. And when we say easier, what do we mean by that? Uh, we mean that it collects information of customers. It also um, it, it improves the organization's profit by allowing all this tracking. Um, a CRM system is also a form of technology that allows aspects of a business to work cohesively together. Um, and that's by bringing in everything from the communications team, the technology team, the social media team, um, all together to really bring in more profit for the organization or company. And lastly, um, probably the most important aspect of a CRM system is that it really allows for businesses to get to know their customers better. And by that, I mean that it allows for business to understand what the customers are looking for, what type of value they, um, they want. And um, it allows them to track all this information um, to provide better strategies and tools to help dig deeper and understand customers on a different level. Now let's talk about current technology um, in regards to customer relationship management systems. According to Jennifer Shift, who works for uh, CIO.com, the most successful current CRM systems really take all of the data that is collected um, from customers and potential customers um, and that, get, that data that has been gathered by sales reps and not just the top performing sales reps but uh, maybe lower, lower sales reps who, who don't bring in as much business or um, from service X and really collect all of that data and not just from top for performing individuals. That way, um, it's gathering all of the data and really implementing it and coming up with better strategies cohesively and all together. Um, the next thing is that um, when choosing a current CRM system, you want to make sure that those um, CRM systems have been vetted by uh, the vendors. You want to be able to choose a good vendor when choosing a new CRM system. That way, um, you know for sure that the CRM system has been up to date with technology and is able to adapt within the current markets. Um, and lastly, you, you really want to make sure to automate your systems according to Jennifer Shift. Um, that way, it makes it easier for sales reps to engage customers more effectively and quickly rather than going through the system and trying to figure out what to do next, the CRM system should really be there to kind of guide those sales reps and service reps um, to properly engage customers um, well, or for at the end of the day, it is to bring in more profit. Technology and customer relationships within the next 15 years. According to salesforce.com, uh, technology going forward is really going to shift to be um, to make customer relationship management systems really unified um, and be able to provide a, a single goal. So what I mean by that is that all of the departments within a company, whether it's the sales department, the marketing department, the service operations department, customer service, all of those companies uh, by this technology are going to be more unified and have a common goal so that sales are being brought in, so that customers' needs are being met, and so that data is being interpreted correctly 
in order to reach the common goal of the organization. Uh, secondly, according to Martin Schneider, um, one of the things going forward with technology and CRMs um, that's going to be really huge is artificial intelligence. And uh, when we think of artificial intelligence, we see it all over the place now. If we call into our bank to speak to a representative, a lot of the times we're speaking to a computer-generated voice. Um, we see it on Siri on our iPhones. We say a few things and Siri will generate those words that are being spoken into data and quickly give us information that we need. And that's really what's going to be implemented going forward within technology of CRMs is that um, people in the business are just going to need to say a few words and those words are going to be created in the data so that those sales reps and whoever else within the business will be able to use that data to help them going forward. Also, according to shiftcom.com, another, another big thing that will change in technology going forward in CRMs is um, holograms. And these holograms aren't just going to be regular holograms. They're going to be 360 degree view of data. And that data is going to be able to be better understood and better viewed because of um, the new technology. And lastly, um, as far as personally, I believe before uh, AI or artificial intelligence is going to be huge. Um, that's something that really needs to be added going forward. And I think companies and businesses will really need to you know, keep up with the market and keep with the demand. And they're going to need to invest greatly into this new technology and CRMs, not only to make sure that customer's needs are being met, but to make sure that data is being delivered and implemented correctly in order to be competitive in a very competitive market. Now let's talk about social media and how social media will play a role within the next 15 years into the customer relationship management market. Um, as we know, social media is so massive. Um, we see it, whether it's Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Pinterest, um, it's all over the place. And the way I see things going the next 15 years, social media is just going to grow even more and more and it's going to be a way for companies to really collect that data that customers are posting or talking about or pages that they're liking and really interpret it and make it um, into more effective data, which is what the customer relationship management system would use to you know, retain customers and to continue uh, producing sales to those customers and reaching out to potential new buyers. And according to socialmediatoday.com, online customer interaction between uh, 2013 and 2014 grew by 70%. And that's massive, 70% in one year. Um, we can only think about what the next 15 years holds as far as growth with social media. Um, it's just going to be so massive. And um, social media is everywhere, is, is what, where everyone on the planet now lives. So basically, you know, you know, we have our houses, we have our apartments, but um, you see people all the time. We're on our social media nonstop all the time. And this is great for businesses um, because it's a great way to manage people and see what they're, what they're all about on their social media. And according to socialmediatoday.com, social media is used as a tool to communicate with customers in a quick and effective manner. And um, this is really where artificial intelligence is going to come in and, and play a role in businesses. Um, when we think of businesses, especially online, uh, mainly businesses, customers want to be able to get answers right away, whether it's a you know, customer complaint, a customer service question, um, checking their tracking, uh, if they contact the business, customers really want to be able to re be reached very quickly. I know for myself, if I put in an inquiry to a customer, I want to have an answer within an hour. Um, and that's where artificial intelligence comes in. And we don't necessarily need call centers open 24-7 or, or reps working the, the messaging or email uh, options of a business. Uh, if we set a customer relationship management system, to be able to have all that data ready, we can incorporate that into artificial intelligence to help those customers with their issues. 
and also social media will create more useful and personalized dates to input into um, personalized dates to input. And with that being said, um, the social media, what it's going to do is really create personalized data to input into the customer relationships management system. Um, social media is very personal and there's a lot of uh, personal traits to our, our social media profiles. And what businesses can gather from that can create a one-of-a-kind personalized um, system. And the CRM system will use that to better help the businesses going forward with their current customers and potential customers. So let's take a minute and discuss user-generated content. Um, for those who don't already know, user-generated content is um, any sort of content or a discussion made by customers, users, clients, or individual about a co company or business's products or their services. This content can be posted on, on websites, on blog outlets, on social media, pictures, um, or YouTube. And basically what happens is um, an individual, you know, for example, will buy a product, right? And let's say an individual purchased a new car from Mack Hike Chevrolet in Houston, right? And they find the perfect car, they had great service, they go on their Facebook and they tag Mack Hike Chevrolet and talk about how great the experience was, how great the salesmen were, how great the insurance was. And then that can go viral and that can bring other customers who are looking for cars maybe veer towards Mack Hike Chevrolet. And according to business2community.com, there have been, been uh, several companies who have successfully turned user-generated content into powerful marketing campaigns. Uh, for example, let's talk about Coca-Cola. Uh, as many of us know, a while back, Coca-Cola uh, came out with a campaign where they were going to put a bunch of individual names on each Coca-Cola can or bottle. Um, for example, my name being George, I would walk into a store, look for a Coca-Cola can with the name George, and then in hopes of me going on to one of my social media sites, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and posting a picture about it and talking about it. And um, this was actually a, a way for Coca-Cola to have their own customers create a marketing campaign for them. And it was actually very successful. And still to this day, it's very popular. And um, content posted on media sites such as Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, uh, as we know, provide a very powerful platform for companies. Um, and I see this going forward, just you know, getting bigger and bigger. Um, we see it all the time. We can post something, someone can post something on Facebook, and it can go viral just by getting enough retweets uh, and likes and comments. And within a couple days, could have a million people talking about it. So. I think businesses really understand how big and important um, the content is posted by user-generated content. User-generated content going forward. According to business2community.com, user-generated content will be used to bring in more revenue and spending less on traditional marketing. So let's dive a little deeper into that. Um, for example, on the last slide, we talked about Coca-Cola um, creating the campaign where they had names on individual Coke signs. Um, going forward, I think that the user-generated content will be big, and companies will try to try to make similar campaigns going forward, just to get more customer interaction in hopes of things going viral and creating its own kind of marketing. That way, the companies are spending less on traditional marketing. And customers will create advertising for um, for the companies, like like we discussed. Um, companies are always looking at ways to cut costs yet keep things effective and efficient. And user uh, by uh, having more user generated content for their products or services will be a very great way to to increase both of those. Uh, expanding more into the social media market, I think that. Um, the user-generated content and CRM systems will reach more towards social media to try to grab more data from that. Um, as we've discussed previously, 
uh, social media is going to be even bigger than it is now, and I think a lot of companies are going to gravitate more towards that to collect as much data uh, as possible. And this can be done um, by creating hashtags um, when companies create challenges or, or kinds of promotions for products, which uh, just basically encourage more communication and more interaction with individuals. Um, so I think there's going to be a lot of uh, promotions and trying to get um, more of their customers and future customers involved by just talking about the products or services. Potential roadblocks um, with customer relationship management systems going forward within the next 15 years. Conformity issues with local and federal laws. So uh, what we're talking about here is, you know, making sure that our technology and our customer relationship systems um, really um, are up to par with uh, with local, state, and federal laws. Um, and that's, that's big with privacy laws on social media. Um, a lot of us are private and, and don't want too much of that information getting leaked to businesses without you know being protected by law. So it's really important that um, businesses, and, uh, when they invest in the new technology and the new CRM systems, they're making sure that um, the systems are up to conformity. And cost of staying up to date with technology and storage, that, that, that's a huge one. Um, all of the new data that's being collected by social media is um, a colossal amount of data. And um, companies and firms really need to make sure that they're investing in a system that's going to be able to handle all of that data and effectively implement it into uh, best practices um, without any sort of issues or crashes. Um, so that's certainly important and correctly utilizing and interpreting the data. Um, that's another important one. Um, we wanna make sure that uh, when companies invest in those new CRM systems that um, the CRM systems are, are very, very smart and able to interpret all the data that the, co that the company is collecting from customers, clients, and through user-generated content and be able to implement it so that our sales team, our marketing team, customer service, you name it, all can work to, together cohesively and be able to accomplish the, the company's main objective. A customer relationship management system in 15 years, and what exactly will that look like? Um, so the way I see things going forward in the next 15 years is um, I see a customer relationship management system that's a techno technologically advanced system that's highly sophisticated, um, something that's able to adapt to change, that has a, a great solid foundation of artificial intelligence, which can help um, with customer interaction and customer complaints and customer service, and a, a system that uh, is really able to collect and provide data quickly and, and efficiently and effectively uh, to provide to all the departments of the company. Um, I also see a customer relationship management system in the future being able to utilize um, policies that will save money. And as we discussed previously, one of the big ways of doing that is by you know just creating more user-generated content and using the customer relationship management system to give ideas of how we can generate more user-generated uh, content. Um, because companies are always looking to save money I see a customer relationship management system in the future really um, big on finding ways of saving money. Com I see a customer relationship management system completely engaged in user-generated generated content in social media. I think uh, going forward, uh, the primary focus is going to be on social media because there's so many users on it. There's billions of users on social media and I feel like we've only gotten a baby steps into that section and there's so much more that we can gather from it. 
And further, um, I see a customer relationship management that's going to bring a company really together and, and be unified and to serve it for one goal. Uh, that goal being, being serving the customers and um, to add on to that goal is serving the company by bringing in revenue. Um, so I see the CRM system um, just working as, as one and bringing all of the different departments of a company together and collecting all the data to give to those departments. This is the references page.